I was just doing my homework in the kitchen. It was Wednesday night. And yeah, all the things were happening, but in Ukraine it was happening for eight years, this tension with Russia. So people <laughs> sort of got used to it. And I never really thought the world could be that crazy to let it happen, actually. I was scrolling through my Instagram and I saw my friends from back home and they posted uh, videos of my city and it was these explosions and bombs. And when I saw that, my heart just dropped and that's the moment I realized that it's actually happening and everyone in Ukraine is in big danger. And so it was really heartbreaking and immediately I called my family and it was maybe six in the morning and my dad was just sitting in a kitchen and looking in the window and he told me, yes, I just heard like some explosions. And I just started crying and I got so worried because it's like your family in the middle of this. And even my dad, he never like cries and he started crying too. So that even made me more nervous. So the news announced that everything is closed down and there is official like, like the war is going to happen. So they decided to stay since everyone was staying. But then the next morning, no one could sleep after that what happened in the morning. Uh, my mom was in the kitchen and she saw an airplane flying by our house and dropping a bomb like by my friend's house and she could see everything explosion and she said it was terrifying. So that moment they just packed all their stuff and they didn't have a bus or a train or any plan. They just went outside hoping just to get somewhere further. And that moment, uh, my mom goes to Adventist church, so they called her and they said, if you need to get out of Kiev, there's one chance and there's one bus going to a city called Chernovtsi. That's where my mom is from. And it's very close to Romania. So they went there and they didn't even know where the bus was going. They find out when they got there. So it was a big miracle and just blessing from God to even have that kind of opportunity and to get out to a safer place. The moment they made it there, Kiev was getting so much worse. Uh, people in church gave them shelter to stay and then they planned a group. And there was a few people that were trying to go. So they went with the bus and then they had to walk. And then they had to stay in a big line to cross the border. My dad, he had a full 20 year citizenship. So then he shows his Ukrainian passport and they say, no, you can't go there. He shows his Nigerian passport and it was just this back and forth. And like the military was pointing with a gun at him and saying you cannot cross because you have to go. Somehow they were able to cross the border and then their people met them so they were safe and they had place to stay. I had no idea their plan. So when they got to Romania they didn't really talk to me as much because I think they were figuring out where to go and what's the next step. So I told them that Inca, Inca's parents are willing to help or whatever they need. So I think they got into contact and then they start communicating. So then I had no idea what was going on or where were they going until Inca told me that her parents told her that they were trying to arrange and meet and help them out. It's very hard to see your best friend going like through that kind of stuff. And I think like when Chrissy's parents called her, when it was like actually happening the first time. Like my mom just texted me like before that. And she just like, they're in Ukraine right now, like bombing Kiev. Because at the moment there's like nothing you can really do. Just to be there. I was talking with my parents and then my, my mom called me a couple days ago, just out of nowhere. And she's like, yeah, like Chris's parents are trying to come here. And my mom's going to pick them up from the capital and they're going to my place for a while and then we're going to see what's going to be the next step. My parents never met. The most communication is when we were both FaceTiming them and they could just see each other. But that's about it. <laughs> my family, when they found out that Inca's parents are willing to drive all the way to just come pick them up and give them a place to stay, they were so amazed and just so grateful because first of all, it's even like incredibly like lucky to find a friend like that, like Inca, like soulmate. And then for her parents to be like another best friend to my parents is so rare. And they were so grateful and just amazed by how good people are and so much help that they received. My house is seven kilometers, whatever that would be in miles, um, away from the city. So it's kind of in the more like in the countryside. Um, 
It's very, it's like in the middle of the forest, basically. <laughs> it's a very peaceful place. And like, there's not much going on, but I, I think it's good for now. That's what they need. It's a big relief for me to have family out of Ukraine, but I lived there all my life and I have so many friends and just people that I know that in the middle of that. And it's still like very, very tough to see what they're going through and that you can't even help. And it's just, but it's a huge relief that my family is out and hopefully the situation will get better. So everything will be good. But I think with all the events that have been happening and tensions that have been going on, people are very already tired and they've been fighting for independence and fighting for Ukrainian language and just fighting for the country. And with everything that's been going on, now there's no giving up. People are so resilient and they're going to fight for the country because they've already been fighting for it for so many years. And you can just see the difference between like some people maybe in Russia, like maybe scared to go protest and people in Ukraine are just going out there fighting against tanks, like just standing in the way and not letting go, like even grandmas, because people just have so much pride and they're proud of their country and what we, what we become, so there's no giving up. I just want to say that you guys are so amazing and be strong. I know it's tough times, but your will to fight and will to show who you are and all the world is on your side. So I believe everything will be good and God will help people of Ukraine and the country to stay strong and stay Ukraine. Slava Ukraini.